Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up What's going on guys? Um, what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna show you how to set your reefer unit. You know, uh, this reefer unit is a carrier and it's the 7500X4. It's the newer style um, reefer units that have the button on the side. You start, stop here. And then the older style, you would turn the switch on and off here. Um, these, the switch stays on. That's why this is here. So it pushes the butt up so it stays on, on start run. And then all you do is just turn it on and off here on the button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on, push that button, and I'm gonna show you guys the different settings and how to go about that. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do a pre-trip on the trailer as well, which is something that you guys want to do every time you pick up a trailer. I just got unloaded here uh, at the receiver figured I'd be the best time to show you guys at first it's gonna blink the alarm code up there then it's gonna stop it's gonna do it's, it's gonna go through its cycle and right now I have it set at 33 degrees and this is the temperature of the box so the number on the left is the temperature in the box the number on the right is the temperature you have it set at So it's still doing this thing, it says closing. Once it says status okay, then you can go ahead and do your thing. And on the top it says start stop. And if you notice this button here on the left, that button right there, you can change it for being a start stop cycle or a continuous cycle. unit has shut off after it's coming on and stuff so I'm gonna show you guys how to change the setting now I just showed you guys the start stop continuous cycle here which it don't indicate on the top part on the top left corner of the screen and then this is the manual defrost if you ever need to defrost it yourself go ahead and push that button and it'll do a manual defrost. Um, these two buttons right here. You can change the temperature as you please. You go up or you go down. We're gonna leave it at 41. So to change the IntelliSet in the temperature setting you want to go to menu and then it'll say IntelliSet on the bottom left. Click on it and then you just cycle through the different ones. On the very bottom of the list you have range protect, 10 degree variance and so on. Then you got floral, fresh meat, then you got bananas, cheese foods, pro sensitive, ice cream, and so on. The fuel hog setting, IntelliSet setting, that is a continuous run. You cannot put that on start stop, I believe. 
um, it'll continuously run and if you don't select one it'll go back to the screen so let's go back to it and it's saying there's 17 IntelliSets so you have 17 to choose from once you select it you go back then you change your temperature as you please we're gonna leave it at 41 you know up and down all right so we go back to the menu and this will tell you the hours that has ran you know on the engine it's not something that you want to be too familiar unless you know you are the owner of the trailer yourself for uh, PM purposes then to start a pre-trip on the very bottom after hitting the menu button it'll say pre-trip you click on it and then I'll have two options start pre-trip view results of last pre-trip to start the pre-trip you just hit equal to select it the equal button is a select button so if you're gonna change the IntelliSet to change it you would hit equal all right so and the alarm button that's if you have any active alarms it'll tell you what they are it'll sometimes have a code and then the clear the alarms the button on the bottom left and then the button over here on the bottom right is to go back oh exit so remember guys you got the start stop continuous cycle mode the manual defrost the eight the reefer unit is already going to be doing its uh, defrost as it goes along your route it'll automatically do it then you got the menu so on the bottom left you got IntelliSet, then you got pre-trip, then you got the hours, the engine hours, and then the unit data, which is something I don't mess with. So I can't really tell you much about it. Then you got the alarms on the top. All right, so we're gonna hit menu. So remember guys, to select the IntelliSet, it's equal. And then after it's set, you go back, then you change your temperature with the plus and down with the up and down arrows all right and then equal to select that desired temperature this right here will tell you if there's a problem with the reefer the light will come on this one right up here the purple one will tell you whenever you have a low air pressure on the tire most of the time it usually happens when you first hook up to it and then it goes away if it continues to stay on or it comes on during route you want to pull over in the first safe haven and then check it all right you want to check make sure you got no air leaks in the trailer somewhere because this one keeps the trailer tires inflated and then this one will tell you if there's anything wrong with the reefer. So if, if you see the yellow light come on, the amber light, you come up here and then you check your reefer and see what the problem is. And then you just click on the alarms and it'll tell you what the problem is, what alarm code is throwing and whatnot. Then you can get back with uh, road assist and let them know what's going on or any service shop that you wanna take it to and they will tell you what needs to be done and how to probably fix it um, remember guys you turn it on and off through this button right here this is the on and off you don't want to turn it off here put you don't want to pull it down because if somebody comes over here and pushes this up the reefer unit will come on but if you use this button you have nothing to worry about here all right so remember guys that's the basics start stop defrost the menu to get into the IntelliSet equal to select anything on the screen and then up and down to select the desired option or temperature all right well 
I hope this helps you guys and anybody that's looking to, to set one of these up. Now remember guys, this is the newer style reefer unit. When I get a chance, I will show you the older style ones on the carrier. Prime only does carrier, so that is the only thing that I can show you how to set. All right, thank you. Bitch, I wanna party like